Hi guys, I am Kayla and I own K-Sticks Co. and I created my business two years ago and I make stickers, keychains, wristlets, custom can coolers, other drinkware, and some other stuff. And this is my first YouTube video. So I hope you guys enjoy. And in this video, I will be talking about what to bring to your craft shows and some essential items and some things that you can use for your display. So first is a notebook. And I bring a notebook just so I can write down some ideas or if a customer wants a custom order, I just write down their name, address, information. Um, so it's always good to bring a notebook. And next is this Polaroid photo album. And I got this from Amazon. And I will try and link everything in the description um, so you guys can check them out. But I used this Polaroid photo album for my extra stickers that I can't put out on display. So they're just in this notebook and I'll just set it onto the table and then let the customers go through it. And on the front, I will put a vinyl decal saying like extra stickers or something like that and so when you open it it has four little pockets and these are perfect to store your stickers in and so the customer can just go through each page and then if they want one of the stickers they can just pull it out of the pocket and then bring it up to me for checkout um so this is just a perfect little display. Next is bags and for my stickers I use cellophane bags just because they're tiny and they can fit in a customer's purse and stuff like that. So I just put my logo sticker, I print them on sticker paper and then I just put all the stickers onto all the bags. And then for the larger products like keychains and wristlets and stuff I will use these. And then for the larger products, like my cups, mugs, and stuff like that, I will use these brown paper bags, and then I just put my logo on them. And I think there's about like a hundred bags in the box. And then I also have these in different colors because the last craft show, I didn't know where the brown paper bags were, so I went to Walmart and just bought these. And then it's also important that you have business cards and thank you cards. So... These are my business cards and it just has my logo, name, and then all of my socials on them. And then for my thank you card, I just throw into the bag or hand to the customer um, once they purchase. And it has scan me and this is just all my socials and then a little discount code. And then this I just have for my Etsy. And going along with the business cards, you should definitely have a business card holder. So I just have this clear acrylic one and I got this off of Amazon and it's perfect for your business cards. So you just place them in and then I sit them on my middle table and I found that people go to craft shows. If they don't plan on buying, they'll definitely pick up a business card. So it's great to have your business cards out and for them to pick up and for you to have a bunch of them. So the next thing are these weights and these go around the canopy tent legs and they come empty in a pack of three or four and I got them from Amazon. So you just put these around the legs and they hold down the canopy tent and you can fill them with water, rocks, sand. I plan on filling them with sand so some craft shows, they have electricity and for some of them I've brought my Cricut machine so I can do customs there. And this bag fits your Cricut machine or silhouette and it's perfect. You can just put it around your shoulder and it's just so much easier than actually carrying the machine itself. So next is this turntable for keychains. And it has these metal hooks 
and it's perfect for your keychains and I have my silicone keychains on them and it's just easier so it doesn't take up space and I can store a lot on it and if I have it on this side the customer can easily just turn it to the other side. I also have this turntable that I got from Target and I just keep my can coolers in here and it fits quite a lot and then this is just what it looks like in the top and then it has a little spot in the center and it's just easier because the customer can go through each design and, and they don't have to go all the way to the back and then I have this organizer and I got this from Ross and it has three different sections so it's perfect to display these can coolers and they just go through them and next I have this rolling bar cart from Target and I plan on using this for my foam can coolers. So I will display them like this. And then I think on the top, I'm either going to do my custom metal can coolers or just put more foam ones on the top. And it's also very important that you have tables when you go to a craft show. So I just bring the folding tables and I have a four foot one that I put in the middle and then on the sides I have two eight foot tables. In the past I brought only one table when I first started out and then for my second craft show I brought two tables so it just depends on how much product you're bringing. And then I also suggest bringing a canopy tent and this helps with the sun so you're in the shade and then also customers will be in the shade. And the next product is this little wire. I think it's a photo holder or something. Um, I got it from the dollar store and I got it for my mirror to display my mirror decals. Um, I wasn't able to use it because while we were loading all the stuff into the car, my dad dropped the mirror and it broke and shattered on the ground. So I wasn't able to use it, but it's a cute idea. I also got this little wicker basket from Target and I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this for yet, maybe stickers or something, but it has two little places for you to put your products. And then I have this little bracelet holder and you have to set it up. So I will quickly do that and it's not hard. Um, it's color coded so then you just put the colors where they go. And this is how it looks when you put it together. Um, so I plan on just putting my wristlets on it and I can fit, I think, four or five on each side. So it's perfect for displaying these. And this part is velvet. I find that it does make like some indents, but um, with the black, it's not like as noticeable. And so now I have these chalkboard signs and it comes like with a little stand so you just put it in and I use these to display my prices customers like when they can easily read it and then I did put permanent vinyl on the chalkboard signs but I'm always like changing my layout and I don't want to have to take off the vinyl every time so I ended up getting a chalkboard marker so then I can just write it on and then at the end of the day just wipe it off and I have these wooden crates that I got from Michaels and I put my drinkware in here and I believe I'm going to I have two of them so I believe I'm going to stack them just so it creates different height because you don't want everything just laid on the table because then it'll just look kind of messy. And next I have these acrylic nail holders and I use these for displaying my stickers. So I'll just put my sticker in it and then set it on the table. And this holds quite a bit of stickers. 
um, but it just wasn't enough for me. So I got two and then I also have this little box that I got from Michaels and I don't put anything in it. Um, I put stuff in it when I'm going to the craft show, but I don't have any of my products displayed in it, but I use this. So on the table, I'll put this acrylic stand or I have my other one. So I'll put this one there and then this one on top. So then it kind of goes like that. And I got these two wicker baskets from a garage sale. So I got them for 25 cents each and these are perfect for little things. So I'm going to put my pins in the one and then tassels for my keychains and wristlets in the other. So I had to get a new mirror since the other one broke. And while I was also at the garage sale, I saw this mirror. And so I just put my decals on it so customers can see how the decal works and I'll just set this on my table. If you're looking for display items, I suggest going to garage sales or even Goodwill. Um, they have some cute things for a good price. And next I got this little holder and I mainly got it to store like a pen, pencil, and then also I have my square card reader in here just so this kind of holds like all my tech items and then i'm also planning on putting my charger in here i also suggest bringing a card reader so you can offer card so i have this which is not a chip reader it just you just swipe it um but then i also bought the square chip reader so this one i think it's faster than this one i haven't used it yet but I'm excited too. And here I have tablecloth. This is one of the fitted ones and I got it in this cute blue color that matches my logo color. Um, it's always good to have a tablecloth so you don't just see the table. I haven't used these yet. Um, I had black ones and one of them just wasn't long enough. It didn't cover like all the way down, but I'm excited to use these. Next I have these plates that I got from the dollar store. And I just put my can coolers on here or my drink pouches. So it's just different than just having them laid on the table. I also bought a record book. Um, so that's what both of these are. Uh, I just like writing down what the customer purchases just so I know what is being sold a lot and so I can make sure to bring it back and stuff like that. And I got these frames from the dollar store and I just put my socials on here and then also my Venmo QR code and then also that I accept cash, card, Venmo, cash app and stuff like that and then what kind of cards that Square accepts. And then I also have these chalkboard signs and they have little clips on them. So I'm thinking of putting one maybe on top of the crate or something and then the other on that um, turntable keychain holder. I am missing a letter on this, I'll have to find it, but I just have this board that says, I love custom orders, ask me. I think it's just good to know that you do customs. So if a customer doesn't see something that they like, then they can just ask you and then you can ship it to them or something like that. And then I made these little cards, so I just put them in the can cooler, so it has my logo on it. So if somebody is buying one of the can coolers as a gift, then the person will know that they got it from me. So for example, this is how it looks. And then from the Target dollar section, I got this. And I think it's just good to add to the table to bring height, like if something's in the back. So I think I'm going to put some tumblers or even can coolers on here. And lastly, I just have this little bin, but I put my drink pouches in here and it's just perfect. So that was everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below what other videos you want to see or if you have any questions thank you guys